Have you ever had to figure out just how much you're willing to break the law directly in front of a state trooper? Because I did. I was coming home from checking to see if we could do a job. And the job was way out in the middle of the sticks, like miles and miles and miles beyond where I had ever been. And on the way back, I'm on this little shit country road that's barely a lane that they painted a yellow line down the center. There's ditches on either side. Like it's a narrow country road that they're trying to call a two lane road. And I'm driving along minding my own freaking business and up comes a state trooper just hauling ass right behind me. No lights, no sirens. Now it's like 35 miles an hour. So I'm doing 40 on this little shit road. And this state trooper is just zooming. And he comes right up to the rear end, gets right on my ass and just sits there. And you know how state troopers do, like they kind of sit there, they're right on your ass, they're running your license plate, they're doing whatever. And so, you know, I give him a couple minutes, I stay doing 35, 40 miles an hour. And I look in my side view mirror after he's been there for about a minute and he just holds his hand out the window. Now, I'm not fluent in cop, but I speak enough to know that he's in a hurry to get somewhere and he's wondering why I'm in his way. And there's there's no place to pull over, you know? There's there's ditches on each side of this little shit road and it's a no passing zone. And my truck's kind of wide, he's not gonna make it past anyway. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Let's, let's speed up a little bit. How much are you willing to speed directly in front of a state trooper? So I go from like 40 to 55, kind of nervous. I'm not the guy that speeds a lot. State trooper still right on my ass. It, as I look at my side view mirror, I cannot see his bumper. I see the side of his car. He's that close. And I'm like, oh, so we edge up to 65. After a couple miles, I'm now doing 70 miles an hour in a 35 zone with a state trooper directly freaking behind me. And I had to ask myself, I'm like, how much am I willing to break the law just right in front of this guy? Like, I don't know him. And I decided that I was not willing to go faster than 70 miles an hour. Like, I've got a good lawyer, but I don't want to test it. You see what I'm saying? So, 70 it is, and we are trucking down this country road, just zipping in and out of the curves. It's literally about as fast as my truck could go, you know? Finally, after about eight miles, the road opens up a little bit. There's a shoulder. There's a passing zone. And the state trooper turns signal and passes me going in and I'm like, you know what? He's going about 75 as he's passing me and he was riding my ass. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hang with him a little bit, you know? Can he really write me a ticket, you know, whenever I'm behind him? Can he, can he really do anything? And he's the one speeding in the first place, no lights, no sirens. So I kind of hang with him. Now I don't ride his ass like he was riding my ass. I give him, you know, 50 to 100 feet but we're trucking 75, 80 miles an hour down this country road now that's opened up a little bit. And I keep thinking to myself, like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, I'm going to get a fucking ticket. Like, somehow he's going to work out that there's a ticket for me somewhere. But I'm having fun. Kind of seems like he's having fun. Like, let's freaking go, right? Now, as we go down, there's a curve in front of us. And I realize my truck, there's there's no way I'm going to make that curve at 75 or 80. So I start slowing down pretty hard. And all of a sudden, about the time I start to slow down, the state trooper freaking slams on his brakes and just, I mean, just digs the front of the car in, slamming on his brakes, which means that I have to slam on my brakes, cue the anti-lock braking system activating on the truck making that weird like grinding sound and both vehicles get stopped. He's got his lights on and I'm like, oh Jesus, like, okay. I finally was like on his ass enough. He's going to write me a ticket. And I'm thinking to myself like 80 in a, in a 35, like I'm probably going to jail. Like he's probably going to take my license and cut it up into little pieces. Like, fuck. All right. So I see the car door open. State trooper stands up and he is this like big, country corn fed motherfucker like huge and he stands up and he puts his you know Smokey the bear hat on and you know how they do it where like there's there's no eyes showing and I'm like Jesus Christ oh, the state trooper has entered assassin mode I am I'm going to jail and then something marvelous happened instead of him turning left to come back to me 
he turns right and walks off like in front of his patrol car. There's no, there's no car in front of him. We're on a freaking abandoned road. Like there's nobody there. And I'm like, did this state trooper just pull a Joe Biden and just like walk off to nowhere? And he's just gone. His car parked in the middle of the road with lights on. I can't see it. See, see, see him. And I'm like, where did the state trooper go? So, I mean, I'm not trying to chase a ticket, but I get out of my truck and I kind of walk towards the patrol car to see where the state trooper went. And he's talking to this old guy. The guy's got to be like 70 years old on a riding lawnmower. And they're now yelling at each other. The guy on the riding lawnmower is yelling at the state trooper and the state trooper, like perfect posture, is yelling at the guy and doing the whole knife hand and everything else. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then I hear the state trooper say in the loudest, clearest voice ever. He says, sir, step off the lawnmower. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Is this like cops lawn care edition? So I'm listening to them argue and I hear the state trooper start to explain and he points off to the side, like very angrily and he points at the road. And so for the first time I look over at the road and I see the entire road is covered in grass. This state trooper, or sorry, this guy has been cutting his yard and has been blowing all the grass from his entire yard onto the road. The road is covered in grass. And I'm like, okay. Maybe I'm not getting a ticket. Maybe I'm not going to jail. All right. So I decide to like exit scene left. I go and go sit back in my truck. I walk back to my truck. I sit down. And as I'm closing my door, I see the state trooper walking back towards his car. And I'm like, cool. And then he walks right past his car. And he keeps walking to me. And I'm like, I might be getting a ticket. Fuck. Fuck. So, as the state trooper walks up, I decide I'm going to try to, like, cut the ice a little bit, you know, say something funny. So, he walks up to the truck, and I was like, did you just do a traffic stop on a riding lawnmower? And he kind of breaks out in a smile, and he goes, I don't want to talk about it, but yes. And I was like, that's a new one, and he's like, not really. It's not the first time. And, uh... I said, so you're upset about the grass in the road? He says, listen, motorcycles coming down through this curve cannot handle sand, gravel, grass, anything in the road that's going to slip. So if a motorcycle comes down this road with all this grass that, you know, Joe Citizen is just blown in the yard, the motorcycle's going to wreck. As the motorcycle wrecks, he may be hit by a car. He may die. You can't just blow your grass in the road. And I was like, that's cool. Makes sense. Glad you cared enough to stop, you know. And uh, he says, so uh, you were kind of cooking along on the road there. I said, yeah, I was trying to hang with you. I said, I was, I was, I was, I was kind of worried I was going to get a ticket. He says, nah, I know you. I was like, you know me? He goes, yeah, you're that guy on TikTok. I was like, yeah, I am that guy on TikTok. Now I'm that guy on YouTube too. He says, yeah, I follow you. He says, this is the truck that took out that Mini Cooper, isn't it? And I was like, this is the truck that took out the Mini Cooper. That's right. He says, yeah, I saw that video. He says, I recognize the truck as soon as I pull, pulled up on you. It's a nice truck. I said, man, I super appreciate that. I said, so uh, no ticket? He was like, I'm not going to write you a ticket. I was like, thanks. So um, in any event, we sat there and chatted while this 70-year-old guy goes up to his house, gets a broom, the state trooper made him sweep off the entire road where he'd blown his grass. There was a lot of grass on the road. And he's literally using a broom I'm pretty sure he took from his wife. Like, it's a house broom that's maybe this wide. And this 70-year-old man is just sweeping his ass off. And the state trooper is watching him do it the entire time. And whenever he's finally done, the state trooper's like, all right, I'm going to go handle this. And I'm like, handle it? It's done. He goes, no, he's getting a ticket. I was like, seriously, you're going to write him a ticket after he swept off the entire road? He goes, yeah, well, if I'd written him the ticket before, he wouldn't have cleaned off the road. So now that he's cleaned off the road, I'm going to write him a ticket. I'm like, oh, Jesus, really? That's kind of a dick move. He was like, yeah, it was a dick move to blow the grass in the yard. So he walks off and I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to leave. I don't need to be here for this. And he drives off. 
I thoroughly enjoyed the thrill, whatever, of, you know, doing more than double the speed limit right there with a state trooper. You know, I don't often get to do shit like that. But my question for you guys is, was, was the state trooper in the right for writing the guy the ticket even after the guy swept off the entire road? Like, do you think that's fair? Did the old man deserve the ticket? Jump in the comments and let me know. In any event, y'all have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next time.